Hello everybody and welcome to another disused railway walk video. Quite a good one this, we've got all sorts and manner of remains, even track down, look, look at this. How about that? I'm at Endon Station and I'm on the leak to Stoke-on-Trent line. I saw traffic in 1988 for freight workings. Stations such as this one closed in 1956 and they also opened way back in 1867. I think the month was November. So we're going to proceed all the way down there. There's a number of stations for us to find. Some have remains, some have been obliterated. We're going to cross over the Cowden Canal a couple of times as well. And hopefully get inside a short railway tunnel down there as well. We're going to get as far as we can to Stoke-on-Trent. So let's get on with this beautiful looking and amazing historical railway journey. Now this railway between Leek and Stoke-on-Trent has not seen any traffic since 1988 and is classed as mothballed, not officially closed, when it last saw freight workings from quarries at Oakmore. Now the first section we'll be walking is between Endon, where there's remains of the station, passing through Stockton Brook and on the way towards Milton, where we meet up with Milton Junction. Now this section of line was opened on the 1st of November 1867, we will meet up with another railway line at Milton Junction that goes all the way up towards Congleton and this is the line that ends up also at Stoke-on-Trent with this line opening in 1864. Endon Station opened on the 1st of November in 1867 and lasted until the 7th of May in 1956. It did comprise of two platforms and its original company was the North Staffordshire Railway. Post grouping, it was the London, Midland and Scottish Railway. And after passenger services were withdrawn in 1956, it did however have a few excursion trains last used in 1963 with goods traffic continuing through the line after it was singled in 1971 but with the final trains going through in 1988 of freight services the station sits there unknown of its future fate of whether it will be ever used again. It is currently used as a tea room known as the station kitchen. Now, I pointed this out if you've watched a previous video along the Calvin Canal leading up to this, is that there just appears to be no or very little ballast. Surely this railway wasn't run like this, with just the sleepers and the rails just like this, because look how high up. They are away from the ground, that huge gap underneath. It must have allowed for a lot of movement. It's one of the old station buildings there. It's now a tea room. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to follow. I've seen bits of it when I've been walking the canal and I can get up to it and there's paths that run alongside large sections. But I think there's going to be a few bits I may have to miss out. What were these for? Some sort of foundations for a building? If you let me know below, that'd be really interesting. So Endon Station, we'll leave that behind and we're going to push on up here. We'll meet up with the Calden Canal on a number of occasions and head on towards Stoke-on-Trent. So rails continuously in situ along here so far since we left the station, just down there about three or four minutes away. For the will it reopen, won't it reopen railway? I call it that because over the years since it was out of use, 1988, it was freight traffic, I think it was quarry or sand or gravel that was coming along this line. Well, there's been a number of occasions where there's been proposals for it to be reopened to passengers or maybe to the Heritage Railway to get an extension. If neither of those happen, it's going to end up being a proper footpath, which is still a good scenario, but it's the last case scenario in my opinion. I'd like to see normal trains running along here, everyday services. But if it was a Heritage line, that would also be amazing. We've got the extension, bringing the tourism and the people that can enjoy the canal and the railway side by side. I believe sections of this track was double. I think a lot of it was also singular. I think where the tunnel is further down, if we get to see that, that is also just a single track bore. It's around about 70, 75 yards in length, that one is. Next to Endon Basin on that side, it's where the narrow boats are. And we're gonna meet up with the Calvin Canal just a little way down here. Tiny little foot crossing just there. And the track does carry on. Looks like we're going to lose it for a moment. That's going to take us up to the canal, which is adjacent to me. So we'll have one last final look at this. Can't walk that. And we'll meet up with it 
further down, won't we? So I'm on the Caldon Canal now, there it is. I've just walked this about an hour ago. Trap bed is right there where you can see the silver birch trees. Completely inaccessible at the moment. I think it's going to be a little bit further down. So back on the track bed. Stockton Brook Station was just down there, closed in 1956. But immediately behind me, we've got the tunnel. And you can see clearly where that has been reinforced. Look, the original lining is just there, look at the arch. And then it's been reinforced with blue brick, probably all the way through. And then there's a corrugated line in there. But track is going straight through, look and it is flooded to an extent but that's not going to stop me from going through to the other side. Stockton Brook Station and it's very very accompanying tunnel is around about a mile down from where we began at Endon Station. This one opened on the 1st of July 1896 and also lasted until the 7th of May 1956 as per Endon and it only had the one platform. And what runs above the short Stockton Tunnel is the busy A53 go through Stockton Brook itself and even to this day the station building still resides beside the busy main road reminding us of the railway once below. So there's a pit look with the drainage right at the entrance. If I get you a bit closer you'll be able to see better. So there's the stonework there look and the original brick line in there and there's that more recent brick it looks more recent than the 1980s doesn't it when the last trains went through so it must have been done to reinforce the bridge because it's not effectively closing you've got the heavy traffic going across the top don't think it's going to be that interesting lighting this one up i will do so i'll get the lights out so the station was behind us and the canal the Calden canal is just the other side of the other portal so almost halfway through 70 yards in length this one so not very long, similar length to Cromer in Norfolk. It might be a bit shorter, I'm not sure. It's like a channel of sorts on that side, but it's not really, it's all coming down this side anyway, isn't it? And uh, ballast as well, where there was no ballast at the beginning, was the, it's a little bit flooded just here, but I think if I stick to the sleepers, I'll be absolutely fine. So it is, it's corrugated all the way through. So that's a bit disappointing, but at least we can get in. I'm surprised it's not been gated off. It's probably because it is reinforced and maintained, I suppose. That's not really so much of a death trap. I'll push on out the other side. It's a little bit boggy in places. But there it is. Stockton Brook Tunnel. So that's nice. Nice little addition to this uh, route, isn't it? Remember to turn the torch off. Got another flooded drainage pit there, look, and obviously there's a bit of an overflow there as well. And that concrete channel still continues on to just here, look, where it just seems to deposit all the water out onto the track bed. Maybe it drops it into the canal a bit further down. Old sleepers there, discarded away right next to a very, very that's a deep pit, isn't it? A bit crikey, and a bit of a pipe going off there like a culvert. As for the um, concrete channel, that's just dropping it. Don't know, don't see the point of that. I mean, that must have been put in for when the railway was open, and at the other end, it's just it's just stopped working correctly, hasn't it? So let's continue, follow the track bed down. And I think the next station along here would have been at Milton, around about a mile, a mile and a half further along. We've got to cross the Calden Canal first. Hopefully we can get straight over that bridge. Looks like 
balance is still present along here not like at the beginning where there was those great big gaps between the track and the sleepers but it is embedded in look it might not just be balanced there's a lot of like mulch and leaves and soil in there so there's the canal just there look we're about to go over it and the rails do continue fly to locks and there's some anti-vandal devices on there canal over that side but the rails seem to carry on and it looks pretty clear here's a nice image of the railway line looking back towards Stockton Brook Tunnel and the station beyond that the line is still open the tracks are slightly polished like the rails are I'd say this is probably in the 60s or the 1970s and you can see the lock flight on the right hand side for the Cowden Canal going off towards Endon oh ballast bin just there look just straight after the canal the canal's just there it's great isn't it I thought this was going to be really difficult to walk along but it's just clear got ourselves a stone bridge just there look Cowden Canal is right there and the lower lock is on the other side That gradual curve going around there back towards Stockton Brook and Endon but it doesn't stop curving there it's still a gradual curve as we head off towards Milton Milton is where our next station used to be this one only had one platform and also closed in 1956 but it did open in 1867 so it had a really good life so I'm gonna keep going on I think we're doing very well with this don't you this is probably one of the bestest clearest issues railway walls I've ever done that's still got all the track down and you ain't got to fight your way through it like some more like this please if you got some comments below for those kind of suggestions I just keep looking back at sheer amazement of that how clear it is and you know it's it's bookended either side with those silver birch but they've not encroached on the actual track bed it's a beautiful beautiful area to have a railway line running along it as a lot of them are it's definitely an ideal candidate for a heritage railway if it comes to that it would have been an official crossing at one point look for farm access we've got the uh gate post look how old that that would have been a kissing gate wouldn't it that's ancient that's phew, that's a very old kissing gate very very old the opposite post just there and so it is an official footpath isn't it No sign of uh, signalling, signal posts or equipment, anything like that along here as yet. Would this have been token operation in its final decade or two, do you think? I'd have still thought there would have been signals, but I've not seen any bases or foundations. I do keep coming across little farm access sections, look where they've used old sleepers. Look at the old concrete post there. So this must have been. Was it a footpath or farm? You can't see any footpath signs and there's a load of ponies in there. You can't see them, but I can. So I'm going to say it was just for farm only, but they start to put the signs up to warn, don't they? Can't really see any footprints around here other than animals. Cowden Canal's just over there. That's Milton, just out of sight around there. Quite like this. Now I know there's a bit of flickering because of the sunshine but we're coming down into a cutting and it's making it seem more 
mysterious and otherworldly. Let's see what we've got behind. So a bit of a camber. Do see it's beyond a bit of a downward gradient. It's like it's quite heavily used this bit as well. Quite a few muddy footprints. I'm really liking this. I hope you are too. Bridge. I'm not sure if it's got a name or if it's just farm access, this road above. It's extremely flooded on the side here as well, look. Plenty of graffiti. First I've seen all day. And just like that, the cutting was gone. Footpath, very, very dicey looking crossing there, isn't it? You have to be careful with your feet on that, but it is a footpath. The kissing gate just there. Let's keep going. One thing I've noticed with the sleepers, and I'm not gonna be able to pick it up on camera, but a slight, they've got like a curved top to them. And I uh, can't say I've really experienced that before. It's like a, there's a very slight, like, it's sloped over like that on all of them. Can't see any manufacturing markings on them. I'll keep an eye out. Approaching Milton, the sleepers are almost like stepping stones now. The rails pretty much covered by moss and grass and soil, trees. It's probably the most encroached section I've done since leaving Endon. And no sooner have I said that about the sleepers being like stepping stones, they've turned into wood wooden sleepers so it's quite possible that was some kind of railway hut obviously it couldn't be up here because we're on an embankment Calden Canal is just there and that's one of those overflows just here we're going to cross over the Calden Canal any moment and then we'll go under I think it's the A53 or over it and then we'll find where Milton Station once was opened in 1867 closed in 1956 and had one single platform so I know it's fenced off but the gate is open because I crossed on the area earlier on today and to be honest if the bridge isn't dangerous it could be for little things like that that's the reason why they've fenced it off but people are using it I've passed a couple of dog walkers A53 is just over there that is our bridge, that's the Cowden Canal off towards Endon and the Cowden Canal off towards Stoke-on-Trent so I'm going to come off the bridge now and carry on so it is heavily tree-lined again I can see some at really peculiar angles just up there Housing Estate on the right, Cadell is a bit further off to the left and we are going to go under the A53 and that will be where the station once was just see Milton Station did just have a single platform opening on the 1st of November the same as Endon in 1867 and closing like the rest of the stations we've passed through already on the 7th of May 1956. Well it's truly remarkable I did not expect this to be stood on the platform of Milton Station that was closed back in 1956 and opening in 
1867. It's completely intact, look. All of the slab edges are there. The tracks there. All of the platform back to the embankment is there. It's all here. It's like a little time capsule, isn't it? It's a shame the buildings aren't there. I mean, I know they'd be in a bit of a mess if they were. But what a surprise this is. Didn't expect this at all. Get here, it looks like a lot of the slabbing of the edge of the platform has gone. Some of them are still here. It's a bit strange how a few have disappeared. If I go to the edge, you can see a little bit of what it looks like down there. How I don't see many photos of this route on the internet or even videos, I don't know because there's, I can't say there's a lot of variety, but the fact there's a lot of it still exists, like the track. And you know, this is the second platform we've seen along this route is still here. It just seems as if not really anybody seems to come and look at it. Maybe you will now you've seen this video. Another bridge coming up in front lot. Could well have been the access for the station. Look at the stone back wall as well, look. It's holding all that up above it. I'll show you what it's like down at track bed level a little bit, look. And we get to see the stonework of the platform. Look at the pick marks in the stone there. That's something else. Platform edge does continue up till the bridge look. Doesn't really seem as if there's any access as such down here, but I'm down here, so that's where I need to be, isn't it? So moving away from Milton Station and its platform in a time capsule, a little bit further down, track is still there, look. We're gonna come up to Milton Junction. And Milton Junction, another line going off further north. And it's now a footpath known as the Biddulph Way. Maybe that's another one to come back and do in the future. We're gonna keep pushing on beyond Milton Junction and head on further towards Stoke on Trent. Now then, this is interesting. And look, it says Culvert just there. Just over there, there was the Foxlow Arm come across. Now I find this interesting because it says Culvert just there. And there's this concrete section. And yeah, that's an old canal bridge, isn't it? There was the Foxley Arm. There was a junction just up there at Milton, which come off the Calden Canal. I think we found the route of that. I'll probably add this on to the Calvin Canal video as well. If we go around here, I think we're going to see an old canal bridge. We are, look. How about that? So this would have continued on only around about 200 metres and joined on to the Calvin Canal as it is today. Continuing its route up there, look. You can see that that's clearly a water or gas pipe going over the canal. It is filled in at the other end, so you can't see anything. So that's, that's a significant little find, isn't it? Okay, come to a bit of an abrupt stop. So I need to try and find out how I can get across here and pick the route up on the other side. So I've climbed down, the river going under there, look. It's only for the width of the railway. i to see what I can do about getting back up onto the track bed on the opposite side. So I had to make a bit of a two minute walk along that road that the bridge was blocked off at to come here and join onto the other railway line that's now the bit off way. I've got to try and get down here. Here we go. So yeah, that's one to come back to. And then this should take us to Milton Junction, just a couple of minutes down. A quick look at where we are on railmaps.com. So going down, we're heading off towards Stoke-on-Trent. We've just come from up here where Endon Station was and also Milton and heading off towards Leek. The Biddulph Valley route off towards Congleton is this line going up to the top left hand side. And I think it's one I'm going to come back to at a later date. 
This fine old image must have been around about the turn of the century. You've got the line off to Congleton going off to the left and we've just walked under that bridge when we rejoin the track bed to come back towards Milton Junction. That's a fine old image with the signal box as well, isn't it? And this is a beautiful shot with the train coming away from Milton and also from Leek. It looks like it's full of quarry materials. It's a fine photo by David Blower, isn't it? As it comes in a little bit closer, look, it's traversing the junction. And also the line off towards Congleton is also clearly still open. So I'm going to put this date to the mid 1970s. And here's the route of the railway looking back towards Stoke-on-Trent. That's the way we're about to walk now, so let's continue on. So what is now the Biddulph Valley Way was effectively a loop line. Stoke-on-Trent to Congleton. I think most of it is now a footpath and cycleway, but look at this. Almost like it's just been elevated. We're back on our Leek Stoke-on-Trent line. And it looks like we can walk along it yet again. the old crossing gates at this level crossing that seemed quite surreal didn't it at that level crossing it's really really busy there that road i'm unsure of the date of this one but this is that very crossing that we've just gone over you can see the gates there on the left hand side and a beautiful white picket fence on the right hand side too but the entire track section is still present look not seen a single rail missing no gaps it's all there and i'm aware that if it did ever come to reopening it in some form fashion that they're going to replace it all anyway they'll rip it up and relay it because this is old decrepit and it's not going to be in the best fit condition is it it's still nice to see it and i'm still glad it's here to make it more than just a track bed walk and again at this point it's almost otherworldly how i'm just walking alongside this it's just been left decades of disuse 1988 so what are we now 2024 is that 36 years i think it is isn't it 36 years since the train went along this it's not that long ago is it i mean it's well within my lifetime compared to most of the railway walks which are closing in the 50s and the 60s calden canals just down there we're about to cross it that's going to curve under we're going to cross it and that's going to carry on up there before it turns left towards Hanley. I put the camera low down, you can see the curvature on top. That is what it's going to be like underneath. If I cross back over the rail really carefully, I can show you this one there, look. In fact, this one will show it even better. See the curve? When I go down the bottom, you'll see it in better detail. And there are those curved sections. They don't look so curved standing underneath. The rails are underneath that one just there. And that is the one I've just shown you the end of. You can just make out there's a bit of a curve just there, look. So it gives you an idea of what it's like below and above. I mean, that's a bit worse for wear, isn't it? Completely given way, hasn't it? Wow, I can 
Just oh, get over that. Crikey. Must be a culvert under here, because there's a river flowing out just there. I'm not, I'm not going down there to see it. It's not worth it. I've got to try and get back up here now. Old discarded rails through there, look. Of some variety. Coming up to Leak Road. And it looks like it's fenced off. So this is on top of Leak Road. Towards Stoke-on-Trent that way. Um, yeah. Not sure. I'm not going to get through that. I don't think. But look, there's a path coming around the other side. So in the end, I've just walked around. I just decided to um, crawl through the hole, safe crossing the road. So it's not like being on the other side and really getting myself into any bother because look at this, it's well trodden. The track's still down, look. So Bucknell and Northwood was the next station along this route. Two platforms for this one, opened in 1867 and closed to passengers in 1956. He did continue to be used by freight until I think it was May or June 1962. So not a lot's changed really going forwards. Still relatively heavily trodden. Track's still there as it has been this entire journey. Now every little section that I do along here now I'm seeing as a bonus because when I walk the Calvin Canal towards Endon, the last bridge we crossed at the Calvin Canal that was the first time I intercepted this and every now and then I was able to see the track bed up and towards Endon. So I knew what I was roughly getting. This way, I don't know. Just like that fenced off bridge over Leet Road. So I'm just going to take every little bit now as a bonus following the track bed down towards Stoke. Looks like there may have been a bridge here at one time. Look. I mean, there's gardens and houses there, but that's a width of a bridge, that is, isn't it? Track. There's still no evidence of such a thing on the other side. So that's Heath House Lane up there. And looking at this wall on both sides of this bridge, that looks very much like that one that only came about four blocks high back there, where we couldn't see one on the opposite side. So it probably was a bridge just like this one that was just a little way back down there. The drone won't go up again now either. It's too built up on both sides and I respect people's privacy around me. I don't want to be upsetting people and just stick to the rules. Now over the last three decades since the last trains ran over this route, it, there's been many topics and conversations regarding reopening for passenger use and potentially freight traffic too. Or maybe even as an extension of the heritage line at the Churnit Valley. In March 2020, a bid for restoring your railway fund to get funds for a feasibility study into reinstating the line was unsuccessful. But in March 2021, a new bid was made to restoring your railway's fund to reopen the line. In October 2021, it was announced the bid was successful and a feasibility grant of £50,000 had been authorised. By October 2023, the government committed to reopening the line as part of its Network North scheme. But again, will they, won't they? We'll just have to wait and see if anything happens. Nice open section just here, look. Pretty clear just here. How oh, that bit, I didn't notice that. I just walked past that, look. It's probably the first bit of broken rail I've seen this entire walk. What's there, look? Fish plate's missing. It's like a... Well, it's a bit... It's not a platform, that is, is it? It's the platform and the stations showing as being on the other side of the next bridge so I don't know what that was there was a sawmill over there at one time so maybe it was a loading area for that for the sawmill which was just there because the station should be or was just the other side of this bridge down here you can see where this bridge was widened look there's the original stonework in the center but it's been widened look on both sides Bucknell and Northwood station was just the other side two platforms Opening in 1867, closing to freight in 1962, passengers in 1956. I don't think we're going to be treated to any station remains. The size of that wall. Some sort of um, industrial unit up there. 
but the rails are still there. As we push on, I can't. Do you know what? You ain't gonna see it, but there is brickwork there. The platform is still there. No word of a lie. You see it? Just really stare. You can see the brickwork. The platforms of the station are still there. Or the platform, the other one would have been that side. Let's see if it reveals itself. It's there, there you go, look. There. See the bricks? Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a bonus, isn't it? Bucknell and Northwood comprised of two platforms. Opening on the 1st of June in 1864, which is earlier than the previous stations we've gone through due to this line opening a good deal earlier as it went off towards Congleton before Milton Junction was opened. And it closed to passengers 7th of May 1956 and for goods on the 4th of June 1962. This bit's heavily grassed up, isn't it? Still got that humongous wall next to us. Now there was one final station along this route before Stoke-on-Trent, that was Fenton. That had two platforms. That opened in 1889, a little bit later than the rest, but continued till 1956 for passengers as per the others. That's that little crossing I mentioned. Track's still down. We can keep going forwards. I keep getting these odd moments now where I can actually walk on the track. Very, very windy now. I've done well today really with the weather. It did forecast rain in the afternoon and it's gone three o'clock now. I haven't got far to go now. Fenton Station and that's about it. The Hanley part of Stoke-on-Trent is just over there. Cowden Canal probably, oh, not far at all, it's a quarter of a mile, but it's going to be less than that. We're about maybe half or three quarters of a mile from the active main line. Going over a little bridge there, look. Track's still down. There's some old odds and sods. It's quite noisy here. That an old um, fog hut. Is that what you call them? Something was here, look. Maybe a small signal box, some foundations, and another hut just on the other side. It's an extra section of rail here, look. It's that a discarded piece at the side, and the main two tracks are there. We'll soon see if it really carries on. It smells around here. It's like a bit chemical like. Yeah, there's still three rails there, look. But we're not coming up to a set of points or anything. I think it is just a discarded piece. It's another work hut or plate layers hut just there, look. Bloody hell. Just had some um, visitors over the years. Oh, look at that uh, warehouse. Very decrepit, isn't it? Very, very unsafe, I imagine, as well. The track's still down. Should be just about at the site of Fenton Station, just down here. His end. Completely flooded, look. I can't. I can't get down there. Not a chance. That's impassable. Been beaten. The last couple of hundred yards, Fenton Station. The road is just the other side of there. Fenton Station. Wow. So that is it. We're as far as we're gonna go. Fenton Station was where I was gonna finish off. So I can put some pictures on right now and hopefully show you what it really did used to look like. One last look at the maps to show you how far we got and how far we didn't do off towards the junction leading into Stoke-on-Trent. Not very far at all, so there is the junction of the main line. 
you've got the line off towards Derby down on the right hand side there look and we are just here at Fenton Manor now there were two platforms at this station and it opened in October 1889 so a different date to all the other ones yet again but closed on the 6th of May 1956 the following station would have been Stoke-on-Trent so how unfortunate we got all this way up to Fenton station right the way from Endon but what a beautiful reminder of what was here the amount of it that is still intact the rails did carry on beyond that flooded section so it's good to know that that's there and I believe it does still connect onto the main line just outside of Stoke-on-Trent station so that's it for this one thank you very much I hope you enjoyed it I hope you enjoyed both of them including the Calvin Canal if you watch that one as well any more suggestions drop them down below thank you very much like subscribe comment below see you in the very next one <laughs>